Hi, I'm Dan Gottschling here at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, and I'm here today to present an outline of our results that are appearing in this issue of Cell. This study has its beginnings in us being curious about a biological phenomenon that occurs in humans, and that is that age is the greatest carcinogen. In this slide, you can see that early on in life, there is very low incidence of anyone having a tumor. However, somewhere around middle to late life, that incidence increases exponentially. There are many hypotheses to explain this in exponential increase, but clearly we don't understand what's going on. With that in mind, we wondered if there was some fundamental process that happens in all eukaryotic cells that might help to explain um, this phenomenon. So what we did is we took our favorite organism, Saccharomyces cerevisiae yeast, and used it to study one of the hallmarks of cancer, that is genome instability, as a function of age. So we set up a system in which we looked at genomic instability as something called loss of heterozygosity, or LOH, as a function of age. And I show here on the next slide the results of that study. Basically, early on, we found that there was low incidence of LOH in yeast cells, but as the cell age, there was a higher probability that she would give rise to cells with LOH in them. Today, I'm here to tell you what we've discovered in the inter intervening years. Basically, what we found is that there's a cascade of events that leads from cellular aging to nuclear genome instability. The first of those is that we found that with age, cells begin to have dysfunctional mitochondria. One of the consequences of that dysfunction is that there are a number of processes that no longer occur efficiently in the, in the mitochondria. And the one that matters most for what we've discovered, what we've uh, focused on, turns out to be something called iron sulfur cluster biogenesis. So iron sulfur clusters are caged molecules of iron and sulfide, which are required in a number of proteins for either their enzymatic activity or structural integrity. What we found is that with age, the iron sulfur cluster biogenesis is reduced and this, in turn, then leads to nuclear genome instability. And it turns out that there are proteins important in nuclear genome instability that require these iron sulfur clusters that no longer, we believe, are um, functioning properly. So does any of this relate back to cancer? Well, we think it might for two reasons. One is that all the processes and many of the molecules that, I, uh, that we found in our study turn out to be conserved from yeast to humans. Second, in our analysis, we did it under what's called fermentative growth. And it turns out that in tumors, they also are doing something that's analogous to fermentative growth um, engaged in metabolism called the Warburg effect. So we're beginning to wonder that as a consequence of this metabolic state, there may be the ability to generate even more genetic diversity or more chances for the tumors to change their genetic capabilities and hence become even more uh, invasive. So I thank you for your time and I hope you'll enjoy reading our paper.